Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to have Princess Amira age up into a teenager. I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm like 100% ready, but it's gonna happen regardless. So in the last episode, we focused a little bit on the royal family of Willow Creek and the triplets. We tried to do a little portrait of the three triplets, which kind of worked. It doesn't look the best, but it's fine. And then we also had Princess Anna, who is living with the royal family of Windenburg. Her and Sir Marshall are both staying there to just help out with the kids since their mother passed away. But she actually had a baby, so she got a little girl and her name is Princess Ezra, or not Princess Ezra. Did I call her Princess Ezra? Oh, I never realized that, guys. Oh. Okay. Her name is supposed to be Lady Ezra. So, yeah, she had a little baby girl named Lady Ezra. She's named after her grandmother, actually. Named after Princess Anna's grandmother. So before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that big thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So I can't actually change Lady Ezra's name until she becomes a toddler. Maybe I'll make her into a toddler, like, right now. Um, yeah, because, I mean, they don't need to stay a baby for very long long but maybe I'll make her a toddler after Princess Amira ages up into a teenager just because oh gosh we have 24 hours to pay our bills I thought we paid our bills in the last episode what uh pay bills okay I'm gonna wait until you pay the bills King Henry because you need to um so let's go ahead and have him pay the bills okay good all right, so he's paid it. So I'm gonna have a princess, or oh gosh, I'm gonna call her Princess Ezra now. I'm gonna have Lady Ezra age up into a toddler after Princess Amira's birthday. So she's feeling, Princess Amira's feeling insecure. I don't know what happened, but she's feeling a little insecure right now, poor thing. Uh, but can we, actually, can all three kids sit on here at once? Because I kind of want to get another portrait of them, like all as kids. I don't think it's going to happen, but I might as well try. I don't think three kids can sit on the bench all at once though, right? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's enough. Yeah, there's not enough room for three kids, but okay, that's fine. I'm not going to get a portrait of them. I already have a portrait of the kids, of the girls as kids and then as of King or oh my gosh, of Prince Kellen as a toddler. So we, I mean, that's, this is fine. I, that's how, kind of how I see it as is like the girls are older. They're like closer in age. Um, I mean, like Prince Kellen is pretty close in age as Princess of Princess May, but I think it's fine. I think this is really cute guys. So we have also, yeah, I, I mentioned in the last episode cause two episodes ago we had, our portraits were like completely blank and I couldn't figure out why, but it's not like that anymore. I think the update fixed it. So we have all of our portraits are back. We have this, portrait of the kids back, which I'm super glad about because I couldn't get that back. I didn't know how to do that. And then I also had the portrait of Princess May done. So this is still here and it looks good. I like this portrait of her and like this portrait of Princess Amira is super cute too. So I think we're, we're all set for the portraits. I do need to get one done of Prince Kellen at some point. I should probably do that now. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to have him sit there. I think the outfit he's wearing is fine. And I will have Princess Anna paint the portrait. And then someone is calling Queen Alice. Her mother's calling. Queen Alice is wondering if I want to meet her someplace. Oh, but we're in the middle of something. But she wants, um, just not right now. We'll, we'll have her go somewhere later. I mean, her princess or Queen Alice's urn is in the castle. So like it, we could see her really anytime she wants. She comes to visit a lot and she's been calling the kids a lot too. So I, I think it's really, it's really fine if she stays there. But I also want to change the background color of the couch for Prince Kellen's uh, portrait because I, I, I don't want it all to be like the same. So maybe I'll just do uh, Princess Amira's is purple. I want his to be a darker color. Uh, let's do purple for him too. I think that's fine. So his his background will be purple. No, nope, but you got to keep sitting until Princess Anna gets here to paint the por Oh, what? Wait, what happened to her? Oh my gosh, she has to use the bathroom really bad. Okay. Oh no, not public image. Cheat need, make happy. Don't worry, Princess Anna, we got you. And then I'm gonna have her paint the portrait. So paint from reference to a medium painting from reference. And Prince Kellen, you have to continue sitting here. You cannot get up. You're not allowed to get up. Hopefully this will be like a good picture. It looks like he's in the middle of laughing. Ah, uh, that's not a good picture at all. That's not gonna work. We're gonna have to do that again. So Prince Kellen, please continue to sit and we will do another portrait of you. So medium painting from reference. So hopefully this one is a good one. Oh no, it's not, guys, this sucks. I think Princess Anna 
Anna has to like talk to him because then he'll look up. So I'm gonna have Prince Anna try to talk to him and try to keep uh, brighten, brighten his day so then maybe he'll smile or something and then paint from reference. So you can like continue talking to him because I think he'll look, uh, oh no, 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 uh-uh. No, put the toy away, put the toy away. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this isn't gonna be good, guys. No, that's, I don't want, I don't want a portrait of his toy in there. So I think we just need to get to know, then paint from reference, medium painting from reference. If this isn't, oh yeah, guys, oh my gosh. If this doesn't work, we can always do another one again. Actually, this one of him standing up, is that? Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, I give up, that's fine. We'll do another one later. He's not gonna age up and do a teenager for a while, so we still have some time with him, so that's okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and plan a birthday party then for Princess Amira. I'm trying to think of who knows all of her friends best. It's probably, probably King Henry. I'm gonna invite all the kids over because I don't think he'll be able to invite everyone. Should we have it here? I think we're gonna actually have it at a restaurant. Mm, yeah, let's, ha let's have it at a restaurant so we don't have to worry about making, actually, I think there is a cake. I think there is a cake ready because there was one from his birthday. And I think it's still good. Let's see, open. Oh no, it's, it's, it's been eaten. Yeah, okay. Mmm, let's have this, let's have the birthday at a restaurant. So let's go ahead and plan a, uh, oh my gosh, plan a social event. And then if, if he doesn't know all the kids, that's fine. We'll just like invite, like have a kids club, club gathering at her birthday party. So let's do the birth, where, where? Okay, birthday party and then birthday sim is Princess Amira. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I'm not prepared for this. I'm not prepared for her to turn into a teenager. Um, okay, so Princess Anna, of course, our family. We'll invite King Jared, Queen Nina. We can invite King Adrian and Queen Lindsay. Let's also invite Queen Cora, her aunt, Princess Belle. So we know some of the kids at least. Where's, oh wait, what? Where's King Edmund? Why is King Edmund not on here? He totally knows King Edmund. What? Okay, we'll invite her aunt. I don't know where, I, I don't know where King Edmund went. Mm, we'll invite Earl Peter, that's his cousin. Oh no, is that his cousin? I don't think it is actually. Uh, that's good enough for now, this is fine. And then the caterer is going, uh, we don't need a caterer because it's at a restaurant. We don't need any of the mixologist or entertainer. I, well, let's have a mixologist just in case. Okay, that should be enough. And then we can have it at the restaurant. I love this guys, the Winnenberg Grand Hotel is amazing. So yeah, this is where we had Princess Anna's wedding at. So those of you who saw that episode will already be pretty familiar with the space, but I just, it's, it's really beautiful. It's really grand and amazing, especially like the landscape of it is amazing. I love it a lot. Okay, so we are at the Windenburg Grand Hotel. It's really hot outside. So let's go ahead and have everyone go inside before it gets too hot. And then Princess Amira, you can invite all the little friends here. So start a gathering, just stay here and we can have all the kids come. So in, if we, mm, if we have enough time in this episode, maybe when it gets to like the next day, maybe Princess May and Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay can age up. I don't know, they are a few days behind her. Maybe I'll have Prince Johan, even though, okay, Prince Johan and Princess May are the same age technically, but I think just for story's sake, because I do want Prince Johan to marry Princess Amira, I think that maybe, not this, not right now, but we'll have him age up to maybe like the next day. So I don't know if that's gonna be in this episode or not. We'll kind of just see based on time what we have time for, but let's have Princess Amira. We're gonna have her request a table. So all the kids should be showing up in just a moment. We have like Queen Nina here. We have King Adrian, who is this right over here. We have Prince Jack, so that's her cousin. And then all the kids are showing up over here in their little, their little party dresses. They're really cute. We have Princess Cora. Is this her party dress? Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. What? I don't know. I don't even remember picking that, but that's amazing. I'm obsessed with that. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm, oh, I'm obsessed with her. I'm so obsessed with her. Wait, Princess Belle's sad. Why? Why is she sad? We need to cheer her up. Friendly, can we, oh no, that's not an option is to cheer up. Let's just talk about toys or something with her. We have Prince Johan. I'm not a huge fan of this outfit for him. That doesn't seem fancy enough to me, but we can have Princess Amira 
chat a little bit more with Prince Johan. I don't think they're like, are they super close? Not really. I'll have her call him over though, so at least he can come over here. But yeah, I, I thought they were kind of close. So maybe that'll be my goal for this episode is trying to get them a little bit closer to each other. I don't know. Oh wait, no, that was his hot weather outfit. Okay, no, that's fine then. Okay, yeah, I thought that was his, uh, his party outfit and I was like, that's not fancy enough, but that's okay for his hot weather outfit. So for Prince Johan, they, I mean, okay, so they're like somewhat friends. They're not super friends or anything. But did she request this table? I thought she requested that table. Huh. Okay, well, anyway, so we have Princess Nea here too. She needs to get a better relationship with Princess Nea. I actually think Princess Nea and Princess May are probably going to end up being better friends. They're closer in age, so I'll have them be closer friends. And then Princess Belle, she's more close with Princess Amira. They're actually really close. So that they're, they're really cute. The little friendships are really cute, guys. Uh, so when Princess Amira, when she ages up into a teenager, she's not going to be in charge of the Royal Cl Royal Kids Club anymore, which is the club that she made. So I think the the person in line would be her sister, Princess May, which is fine. So she's like totally fine passing that down to her sister. So I mean, she'll definitely probably start her own club. It'll probably we'll probably do like a royal teenagers club too. But I think she's also going to have another club with the kids uh, or with the the teenagers for like the girls. So we'll have them do that. But yeah, so I I don't really know who Princess May should marry. Probably. One of the kids of Oasis Springs, maybe? Or, I mean, she could also marry Prince Johan's brother, which is... He's here somewhere, guys. I always forget it. Oh, Prince James, that's what it is. Um, so she could marry him. But yeah, Princess Amira and Prince Johan, they're like, they're kind of friends. They're not super close, but this is, like, this marriage is, is pretty arranged for them. So I think they're just kind of going with the flow, to be honest. Yeah, th this marriage is definitely arranged, like... Like or King Jared, which is Prince Johan's father, he promised Princess Amira's grandfather that one of that his heir to the throne would marry one of one of their kids of Windenburg. So that's going to happen. So what the heck is Prince Jack wearing though? Like this, I'm no. Can you can we change your outfit? Can we change other kids' outfits? What? Can we not? What? I thought we could do that. That's strange. Okay. I guess not. I don't- I'm not a huge fan of this. They were probably trying on outfits in the closet upstairs or something like that, but that's fine. So, I think we're going to- I just said that she was enraged to earn the good manners traits. So that's good. So, I think we're going to have Princess Amira. We're going to have them order the cake. Oh, wait, why can't they do that? Uh, do they have to sit here or something and then bring out the cake? I think this should be their table. Yeah, okay. Uh, bring out cake. Let's do a strawberry cake. I think she would like that a lot. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm curious like how many episodes ago we had her age up into a child. Has it, I think it's been a, like a while. Also, I forgot there's like some, some uh, comments on our videos that I haven't gotten to or haven't been able to like acknowledge yet. So like, so, so one person keeps saying for me to download the extreme violence mod. I don't think I'm going to do that. This is a very like PG channel uh, and I don't have any use for the violence mod. I'm not into like killing a bunch of Sims. I'm more into like the storytelling. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I mean, like I'm sure it's interesting and really cool, but I just, that's not what, really what I'm into. So I'm not going to do that. But, um, and then there was something else too. I'll have to go back and check. But Princess Amira became a child in episode. Episode 46. So this is like, what episode are we on now? I think we're on like episode, I don't actually remember what episode this is. Um, I mean, it's gotta be like, we're almost episode 60. So yeah, I think it's time for her to age up and do a child. So we're gonna have her add birthday candles to the cake. And then we'll have her age up in just a moment. Oh my gosh, though, I'm really excited to pick her outfits because she's super girly, guys. She's like, Super into her looks and stuff too. So I think, this, oh, whoa, whoops, did not mean to do that. Um, so I think this is going to be like, I, I'm really excited to pick out her outfits. This is probably what I'm gonna spend a lot of this episode doing is picking out her outfits. But oh my gosh, okay, we're gonna have her blow out the candles, guys. I'm really excited to do this. So, okay, blow out the candles. Oh my gosh. 
This is exciting. I don't know why I'm so excited for this. I'm just excited for her to turn into a teenager. Oh gosh, okay, so she's a teenager. We need to pick out her aspiration. I think it would be popularity. I think she wants to be the leader of the pack for sure. I don't like, that's the first thing that comes to mind with her. So she's a little hot headed. I, I want her to have like a good trait too. Would she be like a perfectionist? Would she be romantic? A walking punchline? Oh my gosh, I have not seen some of these traits. Emotional con... I don't know how to pronounce that. These sims feel the emotions of other sims around them and try to hide it from them by staying, by staying busy, which gives them an appearance of confidence. Interesting. I don't quite understand that, but that's interesting. Perpetual motion. These sims always want to be moving. Oh my gosh. Goody two-shoes. Oh, that is Princess Belle for sure. When she ages up into a teenager, I know that's going to be her trait. Um, electric slider rule. These sims don't want just want good grades they love school and work and they're going to excel at it even if it drives you crazy when they tell you how important work is or school work is these sims can't stop flirting oh my gosh guys this is awesome i oh and that's only for that category so there's more uh self-absorbed i actually think princess amir is kind of self-absorbed guys and but self-absorbed and hot-headed that's a lot of of um, kind of negative traits um I do think, though, I think she's kind of self-absorbed. I Hopefully when she's an adult, she'll have better uh, qualities. <laughs> but I think she's self-absorbed. I mean, she's already gre gregarious. That's a pretty good trait, too. <sighs> Let's make her self-absorbed. I think that's her. Okay. Okay. So she's aged up. I'm going to change her outfit now. So we're going to modify her and cat. I don't think we'll get to aging up Prince Johan in this episode. So that'll probably be for the next episode. But... Actually, I'll probably keep to it. If it is the next episode, I'll probably keep it as like Princess May and Prince Johan aging up at the same time. So we have here, this is her party outfit apparently. So I first thing I'm gonna do is change her hair. So I love, I really do. I love the hair that she's kept with as a toddler and as a child, but I, I we could probably change her hair a little bit. Like otherwise her portraits are literally gonna look like all the same because she's had the same hairstyle in all of them. This one is a little like big, I feel like. Like the hair just goes up really high. There uh no, that's that's like way too simple. There's that one, I think. Uh mm, I don't know. The haircut seems a little bit choppy on that. There's that one or this one. I think well, this one is kind of like her sister's hair right now. But I think she would want to keep with the curl. Oh, I forgot that one doesn't work. I need to get rid of that. There, mm, no. Okay, now her hair is black, apparently. I need to fix that. Okay, so we have this one where I guess she would have bangs. There's this one with the little curls on the side, which is kind of cute. There's that one. I'm trying to think of something like really like nice and still pretty fancy. Oh gosh, these are just these are just buns, but they are really cute buns. I like those a lot. There are that one. That one is kind of clipping on the clothes. There's that one. This one I think is going to be Princess. Ooh, that's pretty though, guys. That one's really pretty. That one's probably gonna be Princess Belle's hair though. But oh gosh, okay, this is hard. This I did not realize how hard it would be to pick their hair. This is totally Princess Naya's hair. I'm gonna save that for her. Um, okay, this, was this her hair before? Did she, it didn't have the braid. Did it have the bangs? I don't actually remember. Mm, I don't think it did. Well, there's that, th no, not this one. I, I, I like that one. I like this one. We might just stick with this because this is very similar to the hairstyle that she had as a kid. And I think she would keep to those really big braids. There's this one too. I don't know though. I don't know how I feel about it. It's just like, the top of the head goes really, really high. And I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that. I think that might be all for the custom content hair that we have. But isn't the hair that comes with the pack also? Like, there's a similar one. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So there's this one, which is what her mother's hair was like. Actually, ah, uh, oh. I think I like this, guys. I do. This is what her mother, and it's not even custom content hair, but this is one of my favorite hairs. I think we're gonna go with this. Yeah, okay. So then we're gonna go with that. For her outfit though, ooh, I forgot we got like all of these new outfits too, which is pretty cool. Like those are super dated and fancy historic royal costumes, but I mean, it's just, it's really cool. 
I'm going. I'm just going to have her change to this so we can like get rid of all the unnecessary jewelry and accessories that I don't want to have to deal with. Um, like deleting. Um, so let's go to custom content outfits and we can work off of this. So, ooh, okay. Well, she's a princess, and, and I want to. Do we want to keep the like long dresses or the short dress? I mean, this is super cute, but it, I mean, she is a teenager, so it doesn't have to be really, really fancy. And for sure, like they're gonna wear pink no matter what. Oh, and the rest are probably a little bit too fancy for them, unless. There's, there's that, and like if she paired that with like a really cute hat or something, that would be really cute. There's this one. Okay, well that doesn't come in different colors though. Mm, this one I wanna keep for her formal outfit, I think. I think that would be really cute for her formal outfit. There is this one, which like clips on her hands though, but like, oh, I'm actually, I'm loving this one a lot, guys. But for an everyday outfit though, ah. Uh... Oh my gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought. This is gonna take up the rest of the video, I think, is picking out her outfits. But let's go ahead with, maybe maybe I'll pick her outfits first and then show it to you guys. Uh, I think I'm actually, I think we're going to go with the one that she had on a second ago. Is that too pink though? Like, like a li I thought I had another one of these cute little outfits, but I, I guess not. These are, no, I don't want her to wear that. Let's go ahead and stick with this one for now. I mean, she does also like, I like this one a lot too. I don't know. If, oh, this is not, this does come in pink. There's that, but it's a little too plain for her. I, I, I really think she would wear something like, or like this. Maybe, maybe this should be her everyday outfit. I was thinking like it's a little mature for her, but like if, if we pair it with some like really, really cute stuff, I think it'll be fine. I was also like trying to figure out what we have for, for this, because this is really cute too, but I don't think it comes in pink. It's also this one, guys. But nah, I don't think we want to have that for an everyday outfit. Yeah, I, it, it's okay. So either this one or that one. Hmm, I could do both. I could have both for her everyday outfit. Let's do that. Okay, so we'll start with this one first and then I'm gonna have her, uh, I'm gonna have her wear, oh no. Oh man, those don't work, those are really cute though. Shoot, okay, what about this one? That works, I don't, uh, it might be a little, not like, elegant enough to me. But I, I think, I know they're just teenagers, but I, I think they're still gonna wear heels because like, they're, they're, she's a princess. Like, I think she would wear heels. I don't think they have to be that high though. Maybe I will just stick with something like this so it doesn't have to be custom content. It's also like, the, ooh, the pink, Mmm, I don't think those are elegant enough either, but let's stick with this one for now, or uh, I do like this one a lot. Yeah, let's go with this. I, I think this is fine. Okay, so for her makeup, I, I kind of want to fix her eyebrows. I want them to be a little bit longer. Like, that. that's perfect, I think. Mm, although she looks a little bit mean. I don't know if it's just me. Maybe, um... This one? That's fine. That works. Okay, that's good for her eyebrows. Her eyes are really pretty too, guys. Um, and then for her mouth, let's... Or for her lips, I mean her lipstick. Um, let's go with something like... Ooh, some of these like actually shape their lips, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know which one it is. Is it that? I think it's this one. But that's a little bit too... I don't know. That's not her. So she actually, I really think, like she looks like her dad with the blonde hair and the dark skin, but facial wise, she looks like her mom, which is, which makes me really sad, but also really happy at the same time. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Uh, but let's do some custom content makeup too. So I think this one's really pretty, actually. Let's do something a bit more. I don't see anything changing on her eyes. Like it's very, very subtle. Okay, now I see it, but it, still, that's like really, really subtle. There's this one with the more pink to it. I don't know if it needs to be like that much. Maybe just like a little bit of shine. Let's go with um, something a little more cream colored, I think. I mean, it doesn't need to be a lot. She's a teenager. She doesn't need like a ton of makeup. Let's do the, I like the eyelashes though. So let's stick with the eyelashes. Maybe not, not that much. Maybe that one, maybe. 
okay, I'm gonna finish doing this and I'll show you guys my finished product afterwards. I think, I mean, I honestly, I think this is fine for her makeup, but let me at least just do her jewelry real quick. Okay, so I haven't finished all of her outfits yet. Um, I'm gonna have to do that later because I have to go to rehearsal pretty soon. Um, but so I, I, I just have one of her everyday outfits for now. So this is what I have for her everyday outfit. I oh, like seriously, the accessories make such a big difference. But I added, I love these little earrings and then a diamond necklace. And then she has like this gorgeous bracelet and then she has her nails done too. And then we also have, of course, the shoes and the dress that you guys saw. So I think this is perfect for her everyday outfit. She, I think she looks like a princess. I think this is perfect. The other dress is a little bit too pink, like too pink, I think. I do like it a lot though. But I also don't like that it clips her her hands, like the, her hands go through the dress. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, but so this is what I'm gonna keep for her everyday outfit. I think I'm gonna have to get some new eyelashes soon because like these are fine, but they're not like, they don't, I don't know. They're not as natural to me. They don't look as natural. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to look for some more custom content eyelashes. And then we also have her formal outfit, which I love guys. So this is the dress I picked for her formal outfit. This is all also on my Pinterest board. The only thing is back here. This is not, this is not smooth enough. So something was going on back there, but um, the, the necklace is gorgeous guys it's like hovering a little bit but i think it's fine you really can't tell and i have her little tiara so for princess may her tiara will be purple because this comes in different versions so this is the only two outfits i've picked so far i haven't picked her her party outfit yet i'll do that really quick with you guys so i don't uh, this is too a little too mature for her maybe i don't think that it comes in pink this one's this one i mean this is pretty maybe we'll just go with that for her party outfit or i mean this could honestly be her party outfit that's fine right i, th I think that works i'll probably i'll probably end up changing it but for now i think we can just keep this definitely gonna change the shoes though like i'm not not loving the shoes so why don't we pick the the white heels here i think that's fine and then i'm gonna keep the the hair with this and then we will just put on some new little earrings for her. I love those drop earrings. And then we also have some necklaces that we can choose too. So why don't we go with this necklace? That's perfect. And then we have the accessories I want to do her. Ooh, I like this bracelet, even though you can't see it because it's clipping in the dress, but we have that. And then I'm also going to do her nails, get her nails done too. So of course you also can't really see that. Um, and then I'll just do her makeup really quickly. So we'll do some lipstick for her. Let's do this one, I guess. And then some eyeliner. We'll just stick with the eyelashes that we have that we've been using. So I think that's fine. So this is Princess. Oh, oh wait, no, hold on. I want to change her, her blush really quickly too. Um, okay, so this is Princess Amira, guys. I think she's beautiful. She's perfect. She looks like, like a blonde version of her mother, like in the face. It actually looks really, really similar. But yeah, so I'm gonna, oh gosh, okay, that's, oh my gosh, oh, that scared me. That's why I learned that I have to go to rehearsal very, very soon. Um, just really quickly though, I'm just going to have us age up her niece, and then I'm probably gonna have her niece move out. I, I th yeah, I think I'm gonna have them, well, uh, mm, I don't know, I don't know yet. I think, I think we'll just age her up really quickly. I can't pick any outfits or anything. I'll have to do that in the next episode. And I think I'm gonna have Princess Anna and Sir Marshall move back home in the next episode. Although, I don't know though, guys, because King Henry having to raise Princess Amira by himself as like a teenager, like Princess Amira is going to be a very troublesome teenager. Okay, so I'm actually gonna cut the birthday party short. We have achieved what we need to. So I'm gonna have them all go home, or at least I'm gonna have Princess Anna go home for now so she can start first. But um, yeah, so we're gonna age up their cousin, which, and I have to change her name too. Her name is supposed to be Lady Ezra, not Princess Ezra. I cannot believe I made that mistake. That was completely my fault. But uh, yeah, so they'll go ahead and do that. They walk so slow because they're like doing that little strutting famous walk, but it's like really irritating how slow it is. Like walk just a little bit faster, Princess Anna. Okay, so Princess Anna is the first one home, but I'm going to have her age up her daughter into a child. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, she's crying right now though. Um, let's just have her age up so we can actually see what's wrong with her. I need to make Princess Anna happy too. So, okay, so Princess Ezra aged, Princess Ezra, Ezra. I said that really weird. Princess Ezra aged up. I'm gonna have her be a 
I don't know. Independent, I guess. I just, I never know what to pick for the child, uh, for the toddlers. Oh, she has brown hair. Oh, oh my gosh. She looks like her father. Oh my gosh, guys. She looks exactly like her father. That's awesome. Okay. So we're going to just modify her and cast. Um, so I actually do. I, I don't, I do not have time to pick out her outfit and stuff. I'm going to have to show you guys her in the next episode, but oh, where'd she go? Wait, oh yeah, okay, I was like, wait, she doesn't have short hair. She looks exactly like her father. So her name is Lady Ezra, not Princess Ezra. So I definitely need to change that. So yeah, so those are our, our little Sims, guys. I'm so excited that Princess Anna has had a baby. I'll probably have them have another baby. Um, yeah, I, I, probably one more, but not until they move out of the house. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do that. So I'm gonna actually end this episode here, but in the next episode, we will have Princess Anna move out of the house. We're also going to have Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay and Princess May of Windenburg age up into children. So that'll be really exciting. So a lot from, from for the next few episodes, there'll be a lot of, of Sims aging up into children um, or into teenagers, actually. Yeah, they're gonna age up into teenagers. That's what I meant. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications and I will see See you guys in the next episode. Bye!